Good evening, this is the fourth program of the 2020 River Concert Series. I'm Jeff Silberschlag, Music Director of the Chesapeake Orchestra and the River Concert Series. Tonight's program is called The Spanish Influence, and we have contributions from Concertmaster Jose Cueto, we have uh, Pedro Giraldo, Latin Grammy Award winning Tango Quartet, Diego Gabetti from the Halle Orchestra in Manchester, we're going to present music of Piazzolla, Guastavino, and many other Spanish favorites. I think you'll love this program, and we look forward to presenting it to you.
Welcome to Piacesere Winery. We are so happy and honored to have the chance to host Alba Music Festival in our cellar. I am Federica Boffa and I represent the fifth generation, together with my cousin Cesare, of Pio Cesare Winery. Our history uh, starts long time ago. My great-great-grandfather, Cesare Pio, Cesare as a name and Pio as a family name, bought this house in 1881. So, around 140 years ago, he founded the Pio Cesare Winery. Today, we are still working and operating in the same cellar where he was working many, many years ago. Today, we are the only producer that uh, still survives uh, in the old town center of the city of Alba, the capital of the Lange region. Our winery is built uh, on the ancient Roman walls uh, of the city of Alba. Alba was founded by the Roman people back to 49 BC and as all the main Roman cities, the heart of the city center was built inside the, the walls, the defense walls, in order to protect the city against enemies. And today we are part of the historical heritage of the city of Alba because you can find the Roman walls in every corner of our city, of our winery, sorry. Uh, and we are so proud and so honored to have them. Because of this, uh, of this reason, we are also the only producer that is allowed to use the crest of the city of Alba on our label of Barolo and Barbaresco. We are renowned to be Barolo and Barbaresco producer, but we also make the other traditional grape variety of Piemonte, like for example Barbera, Dolcetto o Nebbiolo. Pio Cesare has always been a family-run business since 1881, and today the winery is guided by my father, Pio Boffa, the fourth generation. We are a small producer. I like to define ourselves as artisanal producer. Our production is small, uh, uh, is uh, really uh, a boutique production, and we like to shape our wines with our own taste and with our own philosophy which is the same since 1881. All our wines are made with our own grapes. We are so proudly to own more than 75 hectares of premium vineyards, intentionally and exclusively located on the hills of Barola and Barbaresco. Thank you so much, Alba Music Festival, for this very great opportunity, and I hope to see everybody uh, at our cellar in the heart of the city center of Alba very soon. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Diego Abete Rodriguez. I'm a Spanish violinist uh, who is currently working at the Halle Symphony Orchestra in Manchester, UK. It's truly an honor to be part of this Digital River series. Um, I met Zach uh, back in New York a few years ago, and ever since I met him, I, I've been participating both with him and with Jeff. Actually, I uh, was lucky to be in Maryland for a River Series, I think, back in 2017. And last year, we performed together uh, in Alba in Italy. Um, we were supposed to do it this year, but of course, with all this pandemic um, situation, uh, we had to cancel it. But uh, I'm looking forward to be both in Alba and both back in Maryland uh, to play live for you. And I hope you enjoy uh, this video that I recorded for you. Thank you very much and stay safe.
Prepárense y see yet another wonderful piece by Astor Piazzolla, written during his uh, earlier period. You can definitely sense the tango tradition uh, in the piece uh, through you know, the simplicity of the melody, the simplicity of the harmony, yet you can uh, definitely hear his personality coming across through all the different uh, articulations and uh, small and short, uh, very energetic motifs.
Throughout his life, Astor Piazzolla wrote several pieces to feature his instrumentalists. He wrote a few uh, piano cadenzas, um, surprisingly three pieces to feature the double bass, and among the, the ones that he wrote to feature the violin, Esqualo is definitely an outstanding one. He wrote it for his violin player, Fernando Suarez Paz, with whom he had a, a relationship full of frictions. The, the frictions are very well documented in all the biographies. Uh, nevertheless, they had an incredible collaboration for, I think, uh, over 10 years. And uh, the story goes that Piazzolla wrote this piece to challenge him. Uh, Esqualo means shark, so I always uh, think of it as Piazzolla uh, being himself an, an avid shark uh, fisher uh, trying to, you know, fish uh, Fernando Suarez Paz. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> Con un nudo en la garganta is a piece that I wrote several years back originally for my jazz big band. 
it had such a strong kind of a tango quality to it that I decided to adapt it for this uh, tango setting. The orchestra actually allows me to keep a little bit of that uh, big band uh, sonority, which I really enjoy. The piece is actually part of the album Vigor Tanguero, which won the Latin Grammy in 2018 for Best Tango Album.
Yeah.